Hi guys, it's me Morgan. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, I have, there's not a whole lot here. There's a lot of food and drink, but I wanted to go ahead and show some of y'all some of the goodies I did find. Um, if you, wow, my brain just went dead. Okay, never mind. scratch it. So we are going to not drop stuff on the floor. We're going to start with food and drink. That way I can move all this stuff out of the way. Um, first, I picked up two of these Powerade Power, um, Power water, water and Tropical Mango. It is a 20 fluid ounce bottle, zero sugar, vitamins B3, B6, and B12. Zero calories per bottle. I picked up two of these, um, one for me and one for my daughter. So, and they have the little sports lid, I guess is what you call it. That's what I've always called it. Next, I picked up I went a little crazy, guys. Just a little. And I picked up four. Let's see if I can do this. Yes. Four of these Hint Apple Pear with a Caffeine Kick. There are 60 milligrams of caffeine per bottle. Zero sweeteners. This is a 16 fluid ounce. And it says right here, purified water, natural flavors, and natural caffeine from coffee beans. Because mm -hmm. I need caffeine in my life. But some of those energy drinks are really bad for you. Like, really bad. So, Dean, please do not do that right now. All right, next I picked up four of the black raspberry with the caffeine kick. It is also 60 milligrams of caffeine, zero sweetener, 16 fluid ounce. Um, these are the only two flavors that I've seen in any of my Dollar Trees. If you've seen other ones, um, comment down below. I'm interested. Um, but dang. It's like a bottomless pit over here. Go lay down. Thank you. He's mad because it's currently bedtime and I'm not in bed. So, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I, I really like this one, the black raspberry. It's really good. Um, the apple pear is good, but it's just a different combination. Like, I don't know. It's good. But so there is that. Now I did go ahead and pick up three more of these. Just the regular hint. I picked up the blackberry. Um, these are 16 fluid ounces. Ounces. Hmm. <laughs> ounces. There we go. Um. And this one is infused with blackberry essence. And I've said it before, but if you are new, these are fantastic. Um, if you just want a little flavor of, in your water, um, it almost tastes like you've set um, lemons in a bottle of water overnight. But with blackberries or whatever it was. Like, it's just, just enough to make it be flavored it's nice and then you have the pineapple which i'm a sucker for pineapple i love anything pineapple and then watermelon which is everybody's favorite i feel like but i honestly think the blackberry is my favorite which is weird i wouldn't think that but it is okay next i just picked up a Six rows 
uh, the pecan squirrel for tasty cake. Uh, to be honest, I was every now and then I like to have one of these for like breakfast with my coffee. So, and they are good until. March 20 or March May 24th 2021 and it says right here that these cost a dollar 99 in the store if you can see that there so I'm a sucker for pecans or yeah pecan swirls they're they take you back to my childhood we lived 30 short story we lived 30 to 40 minutes away from our school and on our way there there was this little country store and you had to walk across wooden planks to get in the door because it sat up on these big poles and a creek ran underneath of it um but my mom would stop there in the mornings because we didn't have time for her to make breakfast or anything and she, we would grab con rolls and we'd open up the packs and we'd share them so they just take me back to that i, I don't know all right <clears throat> and then I picked up some of this Victor Allen ice latte. I picked up one in vanilla. These are 11 fluid ounces. Um, it's just a chilled coffee drink. Contains 15% more as compared to our 9.5 fluid ounce ice latte. Um, it says a premium sweet milky coffee beverage made with real milk and sugar. And it is good till March 2nd of 2022. So, I bought one vanilla. I bought one in mocha. And then, I don't even know why I did this, but I bought three in caramel. I don't know why, but I did. Um, and when I was buying these, the, the lady at the register that checked me out, she said, girl, you're going to love those. Those are amazing. She said, I used to stop by and get um, one of those cold Starbucks coffees every morning from the gas station. And I tried this, and now this is all she'll drink. So, I was like, yes, yes. I love iced coffee in the summer. Um, where I work, there is no AC. So, I am not about to drink hot coffee when it's already sweating balls in the morning. Excuse my language. But, so there are those. And that is it for food and drink. So, really, it was really just drink with one food. So, there is that. No, 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 go. Sorry, go. Blake, go. Go. Okay. So, now that that crisis is averted for the moment, I'm going to show you toys. And I found some goodies. I'm pretty excited about some of these I found. Um, a lot of these will be going in my birthday stash, um, instead of keeping them here in my room. I am sorry about that. My son is currently mad at me. I will handle that when I'm done here, though. So, um, I've hauled these before, but these are two different ones than what I've hauled. The ones I hauled before were mainly vegetables. But, I picked up these. These are little kitchen sets. You get a cutting board and a knife. It has a pineapple and an apple. Ages two and up. And then this one you get a cutting board and a knife and a banana and strawberry. So I'll just add these to my birthday stash with all the other stuff. And I'll probably make some sort of little cute kitchen basket. Because I also found this. Look how cute this is. It's got little handles. I mean, it is cute. It is super cute. 
and they had it in a couple of different colors but i just wanted the red because in my mind when i think of these for some reason i think red i don't know why but i thought it'd be cute to add in that little basket that way they can you know um pretend that they're going grocery shopping for their goodies and then they can go make their goodies so that was something next i picked up three of these troll world tour i picked up um this one it is tiny Dim diamond he is for ages four and up but i don't know if you can see but y'all see the glitter on him Like, he makes me happy. So, I picked up him. And they are in the shape of, like, a guitar. So, that's pretty cool. And then I picked up Cooper. And his cool little hat. And then I picked up Grand Finale Barb. And she just looks wicked. I mean, she's got the orange and yellow flaming looking hair. I just think she looks cool. So. These are products of Hasbro. But I think these will be super cute to put in a little gift. And to go with those... Found these. And I just picked up three of these, but they are the Tiny Dancers. And there's 12 to collect. But they're these little cases. It's like a blind bag, almost. Um, and you get little characters that go on your fingers so and they had different colors and shapes but I only got three of them and I didn't see any code like usually they have a little cheat code but I did not see any on this one the numbers I did see all matched so I don't know but this says it is series two and ages four and up and then I got um, this red one. And then this, I'm going to say it looks like troll hair shape. Just because I don't know what shape to call it. What would you call this shape? Comment down below. So, I think those will be really cute to add into those little dolls and make it one gift. All right. Then I picked up one of these My Little Ponies. It's a um, product of Hasbro and it's like a blind bag. But how cute is this little packaging? It's cute. And see in here, wrapped in here is your little My Little Pony. So, I just picked up one just because I thought maybe Kinsey would like it. Next, I picked up two Peppa Pig products. I picked up Peppa herself with her red dress and yellow shoes. Um, they also had her available in a yellow dress and red shoes. But my daughter said Kinsey would like this one better. Honestly, I think she liked it better, but whatever. And then, and his age is two and up. And then I picked up George, her little brother. George is so cute. I love him. And on the, sorry, on the back, it does say it is Greenbrier. So, hopefully, if you like Peppa Pigs, hopefully your store will get these because Kenzie loves Peppa Pig. 
Peppa Pig and Bluey and Octonauts. Those are her things. But I'm probably going to add these to her gift bag. Mm, probably not. A lot. I'll probably just end up putting them in her toy box over there. Next, I picked up, and I say the word picked up really weird and i apologize for that <laughs> i never noticed it i guess i don't pay attention um until i go back to watch some of my videos just to make sure it's not too dumb and i say it funny so anyway i digress you get pack of eight and it is dinosaurs and they're just cute little dinosaurs I figured I'll keep them around until a one of the boys in my life get old enough to play with them. Because it is ages three and up. Or B, I'll keep them in the toy box here and anybody who comes over can play with them. But eight of them for a dollar. That's great because even if they're not good, great quality, these things are expensive. So, let's see. I see a T-Rex, Triceratops, a Raptor. Oh, yeah. All the good ones. Next, I found this. Um, it is by Play-Doh, and it is Da Vinci. And I'm going to tell you now. I know from experience that these are well more than a dollar. Any other store you go. My daughter went through a Da Vinci stage when they first came out about five years ago, maybe. But anyway. And they are well worth the dollar. If you see them, get them. Get every single color you see in it. I don't care. A dollar is great for these. Um, and what you do is you open the cap and you put it in here. And then it's like a little... Essentially, you use it like a glue gun. And you make little designs. See? But my daughter would sit down and write for hours with this thing. So this is definitely going in the birthday bin. Alright, next up in toys, it's more pool related. I picked up, hmm, there's that word again. I purchased <laughs> these swim arm bands. They are like a lime green and blue. Um, ages four and up. I picked these up for Kenzie. I figured this way I have them. If she is with me when we go swimming this summer, which there's a good chance she might. And then I also picked up... <laughs> Gotta stop thinking of words. Anyway. <laughs> I have um, picked up this little ring. Splash rings, what they're calling it. Um, but it's a smaller ring because she's not a fan of just these. So, if I put these two together, she'll be happy. So, I figured that way I'll have them. And I don't have to worry about trying to find them, find them in the middle of summer when it is impossible to find them um, in my mom's town. Because she literally has two gas stations and one store. And it's a Dollar General. And sometimes they run out and they don't restock. So, there is that. Next up, we have stationery and craft. Because I only have two stationery items. So, I'm just going to combine them into one. Alright, first, I got this magnetic planner. It is that jot. And it is a to-do list. It says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it has the dry erase magnetic pen. 
Um, I bought this to put on my refrigerator so I can write, you know, Alexis has um, basketball or Blake has football or we have beta or um, my daughter's talking about do doing softball next year. So softball, you know, that way they can look on here and see try to help me keep track because it does get kind of hectic and I'm only human and me and my husband do a lot of running during sports season so hopefully they can try to help with that all right okay next in stationery and I haven't seen this before so it may not it may be new. It may not be new. I don't know. I've honestly never looked for it. It is a six piece of crystal clear tape. So it's the tape refills. And I have a dispenser. And I don't know how well this is going to be. But if I use it for like wrapping gifts and stuff. It'll hold up. And it'll do the job. So six for a dollar. You can get one of the scotch ones for like $3. And you're getting six here. So, um, you get 12 yards. Impressive. That's not bad at all. And you know, they're decent sized rolls. Can you see that? So, yes. I was happy about this. And it is a product of Chot. All right, next in crafts, I picked up some decorative mesh. I purchased two red. It has like the red foil running through it. It is six inch, inches and you get five yards. So I picked up two. And then I bought two of the white. But the white has like an iridescent um, foil in it. I like it. And it is six inches wide and five yards of it. So, I just picked up two of those. And you know, it's not a whole, whole lot. But I just picked it up for Girls Craft Night. That would be heaven. And then I found this really pretty burlap ribbon. You get nine feet. It is two inches wide. But look at this. It is like this really pretty, like a minty color almost. I love it. And it is about floral garden. And I think this will be great to go on a uh, spring reef. So... I like it. And, you know, you can kind of feel it. It does have the uh, wire on the edges. Yeah. And it's pretty thick, too. So. And then I purchased two of these pouring mediums. It is made in the USA, and it is Sargent Art. So this is not a Greenbrier product. Um, it says for use with acrylic paint, permanent when dry. Mix well with paint, pour, swirl, and rotate the paint on your support for infinite compositions. The finished prom product will dry to a resin-like finish. So, I just picked up two of these. I thought this might be kind of fun to... Do as a craft night with the girls. Next, I have household and pet. I'm not much in it, so I'm combining everything. But this first thing I want to show you, I was pretty psyched to find. It is by Essentials, and it is the collapsible storage container. But this one is a eight inch tall by nine inch. But look, it is navy blue. Woo! It is navy blue with like this cream color. Look how pretty that is. 
Do I know what I'm going to do with this? Absolutely not. Did I want it? Yes. So I just bought one. I did refrain. I only bought one. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But it is a product of essentials. And it is a 9 by 9 by 8. Did I say that right? Yes. And they had a lot of these. So me only getting one was a pretty big deal. I felt like it was. Alright, I got the lint rollers. Nothing fancy. The, the one that comes with the small one. Um, my daughter wanted one for the bus. She sometimes gets on the bus and notices that she has cat and dog hair on her pants and wants to lint roll. So, we just picked up that. Nothing fancy. And then I picked up another one of these shoe erasers you just add, add water essentially it's a magic eraser it really is but on the back side it does have a scrubby thing and it it cleans your shoes really really well my daughter uses this to clean her um white crocs she has like four different pairs but her white ones are her oldest and her favorite so she's constantly soaking in bleach water and then she'll use this and scribble so, I just picked up another one because she used the last one all gone. And then, I've got one of these solar dancers, but it's a little soft. Look at him. This is a little life preserver. Super cute. I picked it up from a friend of mine who loves sloths. So, does she need it? No. Will it make her happy every time she looks at it? Yeah. Yes. So, I just got that. And then, I got two pet bowls. Now, with new non-skid base stainless steel. This one is a 27.45 fluid ounce. It does have the non-skid. But look at this rose gold glitter effect they got. Isn't that pretty? And they only had that color in the small one. So I just picked up one of those. And then I picked up this just a classic black matte black but its inside has like a almost like a gold tint to it it's really pretty and it does have the non-slip thing too again if you watch my haul you know if you are new to the channel i like to buy things to donate to our local no-kill shelter so this will be going in that gift bag and she should be getting ready to pick that up in the next couple weeks so I need to get those in there. All right, that is it for household. Um, our last category is health and beauty. And I didn't find too many things that were cool, but um, I got a 60 count of the mint placards. Um, I keep the purple ones in my purse. And me and my husband went on a date the other night, and I got it out and started using one. And he was kind of looked at me, and I was like, "What? Do you need one?" He said, "No, but it's a great idea to keep you keep them with you." And I was like, "Would you like me to buy you a pack from Dollar Tree to keep in your truck?" He said, "Yes, please." So that's what those for, babe. I got them for you. He does watch my videos, so. My daughter wanted to try this. It is Personal Care Shave Gel Moisturizing with Vitamin E and Aloe Vera. It is Berry Burst. 7 fluid ounce bottle. It is a Delta brand. Or manufactured by Delta Brands. So. Mm, and it's sealed. So, I can't tell you if it smells good or not. Because I'm not going to open it. I assume it would. And then I 
Got these for myself. They're three headbands, but they have the little teeth. You get a like a tortoise shell, a clear, and a black. So, um, as you see, I have a clip of my hair right now, but every now and then I like to put a headband on. And these work well with my curls because they don't disturb them really. They just kind of help push them. So, that's fine. Thought I'd try those out. These were a wish list item. Which is kind of weird. But I want to try them. They are by Global Beauty Care, which I really like. Um, this one is Exfoliating Foot Treatment Mask. Peels away calluses and dead skin cells, softens cracked heels and rough, dry feet. Convenient wearable mask socks. Which essentially they do feel like you're wearing plastic bags on your feet. But I haven't tried this one. You get one pair. This is what it looks like. And then this one is moisturizing. It says softens cracked heels and rough dry feet, moisturizes and exfoliates convenient wearable mask socks. You get one pair in this as well. And this is hydrant. So, I just bought one of each, just to try out, you know, and if I like them and I see them again, I may buy some more, I don't know. And the very last thing in this haul, I purchased solely because I thought it would look great in a gift basket. And, I'm weird like that. Um, distributed by BCL Santa Clara, designed in USA, but made in China. They are the Spa Naturals Luxury Collection Sulfate-Free Bath Salts, free of paraben, sulfate, synthetics, artificial s words, question marks, colors, dyes, and scented only with essential oils. Now you can feel free to get clean with it. And, like, this one is lavender. But look, it's got, like, little pieces in it. I thought that was kind of neat. But tell me these packages aren't amazing. And I'll show you the other ones. This one, I bet, smells fantastic. It is rose petals. Sorry, guys. Look at that. And then this one is chamomile. And these are 17.5 ounces, 500 grams is what it says. It says pour one to two cups into warm bath water and indulge in a relaxing salt. But look how pretty these are. Let me see if I can do it. I did it. How pretty are those? They would look so good in gift baskets. So, now I bet they smell amazing. And, you know, these would even be good to put in your foot bath. Yes, that was what I wanted to say. To soak. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds fantastic as well. Guys, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. So, I found some good things. Um, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. I love the support. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for watching. And um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And I'm more than happy to welcome you into the family. Um, go follow me on Instagram with uh, at Cozy with Morgan number two. Um, I post there every day throughout the week. I do not post on the weekend, but I post every day on the week. And I post things I find at Dollar Tree that I don't necessarily buy or DIYs I do with stuff I buy at Dollar Tree um, or things I think that are really cool that I get at Dollar Tree. So go there on Instagram and check me out. 
And with that, I hope each and every single one of you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at my next Dollar Tree haul. Bye.